welcome back everyone um so today i want to show because i i've been mucking around with nuka world stuff um i haven't actually completed nuka world i think this is like the third or fourth time ever um but anyway i was fooling around with these um pick me up stations now as the title of this will be pretty much how to get unlimited chems because this is, it is honestly, in my opinion, the best way, the cheapest way, and the greatest way, honestly. Um, so what you want to do is, well, you have to, step one pretty much is, you've got to have Nuka World. If you don't have that, you can't have hey, these, you can't do um, the Nuka World DLC. Maybe you could do Secondly, you have to go through the quest line until you... Take over all the parks, and he start taking over the Commonwealth here. Um, the where they are, well, usually I think they're usually here. Yes, so they'll be in resources in the Raider part. From here, you can see really, mate. Let's walk straight through it. Um, you, you need to make these now. They are reasonably cheap um, for what they are. Life's now got you've got to leave your settlement go do a heap of things or like i out. tested now i i went to nuka world and left the i've waited for about an, a month in game now i haven't tested these now every time you come back here you've got to collect all of them but i think on the wikipedia page it said there's usually only a max of about six chems in here so as you can see, that is not six chems. That is a lot more. Because um, I think it's meant to be one chem a day. But as you can see, that makes up to about... Uh, about 62 of them. Um, so it is usually only buff out Jet and Psycho. Um, through all these... Uh, yeah, I'm quite sure it's about 62. Right, yeah, about, yeah, I think it'll be about 62 at the moment. Now, I don't know yet if these will still work after you defeat Nuke, like, if you wipe out the Raiders. Um, I will have another video coming out on how to actually do Nuka World and still um, be able to have Preston Garvey as a um, like a follower sort of thing. Um, that is one thing that I will be doing in the future sometime. Um, as you can see, well, I, I, ha I did have a heap of um, chems on me, I think, already. But uh, we go through. Look at that. 228 buff out. Um... So jets we have 484, amazing. And then I think it was psycho. Uh, there 522. Now obviously those will vary. Um, well I said I think I already had chem a heap of these in my inventory, but as it is, well again you get about you can get about 20 of some of these. So I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14, 15, 16. So that's 16, um, divide that by like 20, which is like, uh, I think it's roughly about 260, if you've got about 20 per machine of each specific thing. Um, so, and it, some of them did have like, could have had like 30 or so, so um, it will actually all depend on uh, what you're actually going for. Um, but yeah, this is honestly, like I said, just the, honestly the best way to do it. Because um, you can actually do Nuka World as well and still be with the Minutemen. I don't know if Settlers will use these, but if you wanted to... Now, I believe it's... Spectacle Island is the one that has the most space. Ain't no one sad about so what you could do... Just is realistically um, to make a massive, massive chem farm would be 
clear any settlement you can do it in but like fully clear the settlement out and build a whole heap of these um, if you're doing a survival mode type thing which I actually mind out doing one day with the whole chem um, factory thing like I've got over here spectacle island um, if you fully clear this out you can actually put a whole heap of them there and I know there's like a glitch you can do where you, you, I think you put down a weapon, you store it in the inventory, and the sediment meter will go down. So in in all meaning of that, you could have like, you could have 100, 200 of these in your settlement. Um, and that like, when you think of that, like if you've got 100, um, as it is like, depending on how how much you're going back and forth I think it is I don't know if there's actually a max if anyone knows if there is actually a maximum amount on these machines let me know because I do want to know myself um, but as is like you know, you've got 200 of them I mean uh, 100 of them you, you got about three say you get um, again let's say you got 20 of them all each time you go there you're gonna get about um, 2,000 then you've got like only if you get near enough to, if it was right on the dot of three, I mean, ten um, of them, each vending machine of the three lot, you'd have about 1,000. So you think of that, 1,000 of them. Um, I don't, I oh know, I do have a couple of these. Um, but, I, but anyway, like again, Psycho, that's worth, that's about 50 bucks um, value, or 50 caps, I should say. Um, jet 50 again uh, last one was buff out 45 but still you can combine these um, in the chemist station um, I'll just have a quick look like if I if I can even build it will be the next question uh, no no I can't rubber and gears and stuff I need um, but yeah, like again, you can combine them in this chemist station to get a whole heap of them. So you know, if you're gonna do a junkies build sort of thing in this, I'll see the best way to go. And again, right. I'll have a video out, um, hopefully in the next week or so, um, of how to actually do Nuka World and keep Preston Garvey as a follower and still be the Minutemen in general. Um, but yeah, as it is, yeah, just to do a really quick recap on this again. Um, do the Nuke World quest line, um, take all the parks, wait until you can get into the set, um, the Commonwealth to um, do raiding the co um, Commonwealth. I think you have to get, I can't remember if you unlock it straight away or you have to um, do a thing about um, one part of the quest because you usually have to get like about, I think it's about 12 settlements. And you unlock the tribute chests, um, which is you need the perks um, somewhere here. Uh, that one. Uh, so uh, I think it'd be I think it's number two you unlock this one at. But um, you know, just raid some settlements, and you'll get these really quickly. And like I said, just put a whole heap of them down. And not only that, like if you wanted to, um, as it is. Um, if even your normal settlements, even if the well, they do do happiness, but I think that's specifically for the raiders. So, use it a settlement that you don't want to have settlers you at. Like, again, you, you have about say three or four, or ha even five settlements. Um, mm -hmm. and that, like, well, again, while I work out, yeah, again, five settlements, say a hundred of these at each one, and you get, say, again, 20 of each every time you go back there. Um, that's about 10,000 of each one Any each and every single time. So, again, greatest way, easiest way to some degree that you have to do, still you have to do Nuka World, but um, it is reasonably easy um, in that. But, uh, yeah, hope everyone has enjoyed. And, um, yeah, that video, hopefully I'll be able to start working on that other video uh, sometime this week or hopefully the next couple of weeks because um, that's something I did not know when I first done um, Fallout 4 is because I ended up doing it all and then I did Nuka World which you should not do if you want to be the general of the Minutemen.
Um, but anyway, hope everyone has enjoyed and see you all next time.